Just to think such royalty would come the way he came In a dusty little town Born in such humility upon the bed of hay Certainly he laid his glory down Who would think this little child would be the promised one? Would the Messiah really come this way? Certainly this was no birthplace for the Son of God isn't it amazing how he came? Isn't it amazing the way he came? No crown, no throne, no big parade. There were no fanfares played, no jubilant displayed. Isn't it amazing how he came? I can't believe that I would be the reason why he came. I can't believe he left his mighty throne. He became a pauper so that I would be a king. Denied himself and he made my heart his own Isn't it amazing the way he came No crown, no throne, no big parade There were no fanfares played No jubilant display Isn't it Let's turn our Bible to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. <clears throat> I, want, I want to ask you this question, and I could have asked it in lockdown. Maybe I did. Uh, anyway, uh, what good have you found during this time for this past week when the water was off, when the electricity was shut off, when the things that you wanted to do, you couldn't do. First Thessalonians chapter 5, back up a wee bit. Oh, should have got there in the first place. All right. First Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 21. Okay, first in English, prove all things, hold fast 
that which is good. Sa buwano, suta ang tanang butang, kupi na mamigung, tanang maayu. I want you to look at that last part. Hold fast that which is good. Or in Cebuano, again, uh, back up a little bit. Kupi na maligong kanan maayu. Are you holding on to those things that are good while you are going through some kind of suffering or problem? or something that you can't handle. The other day, I was in traffic and I saw this young man. He had a flag and he was waving the flag. And I won't tell you what was on the flag, but I will say this. He was cursing the uh, COVID lockdown and I guess he was a little teed off. We all can get like that. And during this week, I was a little upset. I admit that. But it was a very low upset. Most of the time, I was jumping for joy. And that was God's Holy Spirit working in me. What I want you to understand that during hard times, rough times, times that you can't understand hold fast to that which is good we'll be praying in a minute have you ever ridden on a ferris wheel what an experience it takes your breath away you must hold on fast tight secure segurado. don't let go or on a merry-go-round that makes you dizzy if you don't hold fast to the handle grips, you may fall down. I challenge today. Every day there is some danger waiting for you as believers in Christ. Be aware. Be prepared. And God will be glorified. Be concerned. And hold fast to that which is good. And God will be glorified in you for what you've done and you will be blessed in growth of faith that is in that which is good fight the hard times with the power of god let's pray a gracious father once again i ask in jesus name and we ask in jesus name help us to do what needs to be done when things we don't like come our way. Strengthen us. Let us rejoice in the blessings that may come through that, especially our faith growing in Christ and our Christ who is in us. Lord, I pray now for everyone here today, anybody on live stream, anybody all over the world who is lost to get saved, to give their lives to you, who is backslidden come back to you. Who knows the joy of the Lord to keep on growing in Christ. Father, thank you for everything. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Number one. God's grace is and the gospel to hold fast to these. Philippians chapter 1. Philippians chapter 1. In Philippians chapter 1, and we read verse 7. Even at, as it is meet for me to think this of you all, because I have you in my heart, inasmuch as both in my bonds and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel, Ye are all my partakers, ye are all partakers of my grace. The grace that God gave Paul, he's saying that you got that same grace if you're partaking in the ministry of Christ as he is. First Corinthians 
chapter 9. 1 Corinthians chapter 9. And we read in verse 20 to 23. And unto the Jews I became a Jew, that I might gain the Jews. To them that are under the law, as under the law, that I might gain them that are under the law. To them that are without the law, as with, without the law. Being not without law to God, but under the law to Christ, that I may gain them that are without the law. To the weak became I as weak, that I might gain the weak. I am made all things to all men, that I might by all means save some. And verse 23. Ukini akung gibuhat tungud ud alang sa maayong pangita. Arong aku mahimung umaambit ni ini uban kaninyo. And this I do for the gospel's sake, that I might be partaker thereof with you. He's saying, hold fast to that which is good. There are many things that, can, uh, that have come out good. How many people can, here can say, God has blessed me during this lockdown. God has blessed me during this week of no electricity, no, uh, no water. I'm, I'm healthy, I'm good, I haven't been hurt, I may have had a little damage here and there, but praise God, I'm alive, and I'm jumping for joy. I can say that, and maybe there are people out there that can't. Maybe some Christians just can't. Lift them up in prayer. Lift up those people in prayer who are not yet Christians, and let them see how you can hold on to fat, uh, fast to that which is good. First, Christ. And then, whatever else he gives you to do. Hold fast to it. Divine nature. Second Peter, chapter 1. Second Peter, chapter 1. In Second Peter, chapter 1, Verse 4, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye might be partakers, notice that word partakers, hold fast to that which is good, partakers of the divine nature, not man's way, but God's way having escaped the corruption that is in the world through us. If you are saved, you know where you're going. You don't worry about the things that you don't have. God will take care of that. You don't worry about the things that you, don't, uh, that you need. God will take care of that. Hold fast to that new inner man. Ephesians chapter 3. Ephesians chapter 3. If you're new in Christ, if you've been saved this year, maybe this week, this month, Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 16. That he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. Don't let the flesh control you. Let the inner man control you that, uh, that is being led and held by the Holy Spirit of God. That's where we will fight the devil and we will win when we yield to God. And let the inner man be controlled by the Spirit of God. Hold fast that which is good. Then we come to number three, led by the Holy Spirit. Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8. 
and we look at verse 12 to 15. Therefore, brethren, we are judges not to the flesh. I don't owe the, fle owe the flesh anything. To live in the flesh. For if you live in the flesh, you shall die. But if through the Spirit to mortify, kill those deeds, put them away, the deeds of the body, ye shall live. Is there a battle in your, in your body right now, in your mind, in your soul? There should be the flesh fighting against the Spirit of God. The two do not agree. They cannot stay together. Either you serve the flesh or you serve the Spirit of God. Verse 14. Gai ingun sa kadaghan sa mga gigihan sa espiritu sa jus sila ang mga anak sa jus. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. So, who's leading your life during this time of lockdown and during this time of the no electricity and no water and, and, and no normal things that you can take care of to help you with? Sure, it's tough. But like I said before, this is nothing compared to what's going to happen in the tribulation. If you don't have that mark, you can't buy and you can't sell. The devil owns you. There'll be a lot of people selling their soul to the devil. Hold fast to God's wisdom and promises. James chapter 1 and verse 5. James chapter 1. And verse 5. Konsi bisang kinsa na kaninyo na kongan sa kaangam papa ang gayo siya sa Diyos na nagahasag na to sa tanang na tawo na madagayong O wala nag-asamay o kini igahatag kaniya. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God to give it to all men liberally and upbraid it not, and it shall be given him. You don't have any understanding? Ask God to show you. God will give you that wisdom and knowledge, and understanding. He gave it to Noah. Noah probably said, you want me to build a what? How am I going to do that? And he told him, take the pitch, do, take this, take that. And Noah did, and he built the ark. And I can only imagine him in his mind. As the ark was uh, uh, on the water, and the water was getting higher and higher. Oh, my. I hope this hold, holds fast. I hope we don't sink. I don't think he was that bad. He might have been a little bit. But he trusted in God. How about your salvation? Second Tim. Second Tim. Are you holding on to that? Second Tim. Second Timothy chapter two and verse ten. Therefore I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may also obtain the salvation which is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. Hang on to your salvation. Believe 
If God saved you and you believe it and you received it, don't quit. Don't walk out on God. Hold fast that which is good. God never fails. God never lies. Maybe his time is not your time. So what? I have to be patient. Why can't you? A future glory. Hold fast because of the future life ahead. Let's go to John 14, 3. John 14 and verse 3. And he reads, uh, John 14, verse 3, and we read in Sabuano, O con aku mo adu o mo anang o dati anang kaninyo. Aku mo anhi pag usab. O mo duwag kaninyo nanhi nianhi sa akong kaugalingon aron hain aku atua usab kamu. And if I go and prepare a place for you, that if doesn't mean maybe I won't. It means he is, he will, and he did. If I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. He's coming again. Are you ready? Are you holding fast to that which is good and receive you unto myself that where I am, there ye may be also. Hebrews 4. Uh, I'm sorry. Let me, let me, uh, one more thing. One more time. Uh, one more. First Thessalonians chapter 4. First Thessalonians chapter 4. First uh, Thessalonians chapter 4. And we look at verse 16 and 17. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout and with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Hold fast. It's only a matter of time when Jesus is coming. Only a matter of time. And we will be out of here. No more worries. No more cares. No more sorrows. Hold fast to that which is good. And I left one out. Hold fast to the word of God. Hebrews chapter 4. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, that's all right. Number 6. Hold fast because Jesus is our mediator, our high priest. Hebrews chapter 4. Hebrews chapter 4. And verse 14. Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into heaven, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. And let me get back to that in English, where it's, uh, in Cebuano, where it says, See Jesus and Anak. So, Jews, Kita Magkuput na Mangigong sa Atong Pagpahayag sa Pagtuo. Hold fast to your Christian beliefs. I was uh, at a restaurant yesterday, famous restaurant. I have a funny feeling the people who own that are. Uh, not religious, because I was looking at one of their books, uh, and it was human philosophy, and it spoke a little bit about Jesus, 
but nothing about his salvation, all about themselves, their inner man, their soul. Uh, and uh, it was um, some kind of, the, uh, the, one of the people who wrote the article claimed it wasn't, uh, their, their beliefs aren't religious, religion. If it's not religion, what is it? Everything, everything I read in there was against what the Bible said. Some kind of theo theosophy or something like that. In other words, your inner man, you, yourself, all about you, what you can do and what you can achieve in this world. But it didn't say anything about God, maybe a little bit word here and there, but it had nothing to satisfy me. Let me get back here. Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 14. And we read, Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Jesus the Son of God, again, let us hold fast our profession. Now, if you will, turn with me to 1 Timothy chapter 2. 1 Timothy, whoops, 1 Timothy chapter 2. First Timothy, First Timothy chapter 2, and we read here uh, in verse 5. Verse 5. For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. In this book that I was reading, it was really human philosophy. Yourself. You're good enough to get to heaven. That's not what the Bible says. We need a mediator. Hold on to that mediator. Hold fast to that which is good. Jesus never failed. Jesus never lied. And he never let anybody down. And you know, one of the reasons, as I was reading scripture and other material, one of the reasons that the Jews rejected Christ and uh, because they did not want the Romans to control them. That was one of the reasons. The spiritual reason is they wanted to do what they wanted to do. Their own righteousness would get them to heaven. Your righteousness cannot get you to heaven. It's filthy rags. Isaiah 64, I believe, verse 6. In conclusion, the resurrection is coming. Matthew 28. Matthew 28. Matthew 28 and verse 6. He is not here, for he is risen, as he said. Come, see the place where the Lord lay. And they did. They went to see the place where the Lord lay. But you know, there was something funny about that. I wouldn't want to call it funny. Something, uh, well, I'll tell you. The napkin was laid in a certain place, folded neatly. Why? If Jesus arose, why didn't he just, who cares about what's left behind? In that time, and it might even be in today's uh, Hebrew culture, when, you're, uh, when you are done with the meal, you put your stuff aside, you fold the napkin, and you're all done. Jesus was saying, hold fast, I'm all done, I'm coming back. Hebrews 13. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, let me, uh, First Corinthians, First Corinthians. Chapter 15, back to 1 Corinthians, chapter 15. And, okay, here we go. 1 Corinthians, chapter 15. And we read in verse 15, chapter 15, verse 20. Verse 20. And we read. But now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them 
that's left, those that have passed on. Now go to verse 57. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. If Christ is risen, and he is, he's coming back. Hold fast to that which is good. Now, by way of invite, Hebrews chapter 13, Hebrews chapter 13, and verse 5 and 6. Verse 5 and 6. Hebrews 13. Let your conversation, your testimony, be without covetousness, and be content with such things as ye have. For he said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee, so that we may boldly say, can you say that from your heart, knowing Jesus Christ as your Savior? The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Hold fast. Heavenly Father, we thank you in Jesus' name. As Pastor Frank comes, he gives the invitation. I pray that each person here will search their heart and know if they are saved or if they're playing games with you. To get saved, give their life to you. Strengthen each one of us that we can hold fast to that which is good. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, God's holy word, God's holy promises that never fail. We need to hang on to that and believe that we are going to heaven because we receive Jesus Christ as our Savior. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Let's all stand together, please. Your heads are bowed and your eyes are closed. God speaking to you about holding fast. Para sa mga bisaya, padayon. Hold fast. Continue lang, padayon. Na ay mga discouragements sa kalibutan. Ma ay na ay mga discouragements sa kinibuhi. But by God's grace, hold fast. Padayon lang. Ayaw pag give up now. Don't give up now. Because God's still working. Maybe that's you this morning. Maybe you're a little bit discouraged, a little bit depressed. But God spoke to you to hold fast. To padayon lang, padayon. Pastor, gets me. God spoke to me. Please pray for me. Kinsa na karon? Kinsa na? Kinsa na? Amen. God bless you. Hands are all around. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Maybe na ka diri karon si Pastor Nindut ka ayo mensahe. Hold fast. Padayon sa pangalagad sa ginoo, Pastor. Pero wapod yuko kuluas. Dili pa ko sure mga maatu ko sa langit. Pastor, please pray for me. Para sure jud ko nga maatu ko sa langit ang akong kalag. Pastor, please pray for me. Kinsa na karon? Kinsa na? Find a place at the altar. Come talk to the Lord. It's Christmas time. Find a place to the, come to the altar. Just come worship the Lord. The piano is playing. Find a place just to worship the Lord. Lord, help me to hold fast. Help me to continue. Help me to padayon. God's speaking to you already. Find a place at the altar. You come.
Heavenly Father, Lord, we're so blessed, Lord, to be saved, to have hope in this life, that one day we will see Jesus Christ. Lord, help us to continue not to be discouraged, not to be down, not to be dejected, Lord, but to continue sa gracia sa ginoo o sa pangalagad sa ginoo. Lord, help us, we pray, Lord. I know many families right now suffering, Lord, struggling from typhoon damage, but Lord, you're still good and your grace is still sufficient. And we're, we're so glad we, we know you as Savior. Lord, continue to work among us. We pray this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Well, let's stand together. And we're going to sing page number 15. Page number 15. Maybe get on the organ lang, Palhog. We're going to sing, I'm glad I know who Jesus is. Amen. Orchestra, if you get back up here, Palhog, if you can. Orchestra. We're going to sing, I'm glad I know who Jesus is. Let me read the first verse here. It says, In a little town of Bethlehem so many years ago, they told him there was no room in the inn, but they had no way of knowing just who they had turned away, the Lamb of God who would take away their sins. I'm glad I know who Jesus is. Are you glad this morning that you know who Jesus is? Amen? Some of us uh, are familiar with the story. Mary and Joseph arrived sa inn. I don't know that's in Bisaya. Katong, what's that? Pasunga. No, it's not. But they arrived there and they said, Sorry sir, walay bakanti. Pero pwede ka maghigda sa luyo. Kuyog sa mga hayop. Wa siya kabulo katong manager sa sa katong ilang gamay nga motel. Wa siya kabulo nga Mao na ang hari sa mga hari. Wa siya kabulo. Kung kabulo sila, I'm sure mahatag siya ang iyang kagulingon nga higdaanan. So I wonder if today if mag if naakadiri, wa pa ka, kaila ginoo, but you turn him away again. You can know who Jesus is. Jesus will give you peace of mind. Amen. He'll give you everything you need. Let's sing together page number 15. In a little town of Bethlehem so many years ago, they told him there was no room in the inn. But they had no way of knowing just who they turned away, the Lamb of God who would take away their sins. I'm glad I know who Jesus is. I'm glad I know who Jesus is. He's more than just a story. He is the King of glory. I'm glad I know who Jesus is. Verse 2, please. So many people still today don't know who Jesus is. They've never felt his peace within their souls. But I want my life to show them how his love can set them free. He's the only one who can hinge and make me whole. I'm glad I know who Jesus is. I'm glad I know who Jesus is. He's more than just a story. He is the King of glory. I'm glad I know who Jesus is. He's the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. He's Counselor, Deliverer to me. He's the Everlasting Father. He is the King of Glory. I'm glad I know who Jesus is. One more time in the chorus. I'm glad I know who Jesus is. I'm glad I know who Jesus is. He's more than just a story. He is the King of glory. I'm glad I know who Jesus is. Last sentence. I'm glad I know who Jesus is. Amen. Are you glad you know who Jesus is? The world does not know who Jesus is. That's why we have missions conference. That's why I'm not like in guitar some pagsimba We want everybody who to know who Jesus is. Amen.
Have a seat quickly, some announcements before we get going today. We only have one service this morning. I know many of you want to get back and then uh, you still have your house to clean. How many of you, uh, your house is really messed up right now. It's really messed up. Pero ang imong kasing-kasing dili messed up. Saktora. Amen? So you can take time later, of course, to get things done, get things ready to clean up. But we like, we like to invite you back 5 p.m. 5 p.m. na tayo Christmas Cantada. Okay? And Pastor, what is Christmas Cantada? Brother Azar has prepared a speech to explain what is Christmas Cantada. Brother Azar, can you just come here and explain lang? Uh, Brother PG is not here, so. Uh, Christmas Cantada is simply, kuan lang siya, kanang um, daghang groups mo kanta na adult choir, na ay t- from teens group, from bata nga group mo kanta. Onya, I'm sure mga uh, malingaw mo mo tanaw anak, kay they're gonna sing. Nanyo hong mga anak, you can take pictures. So, kana alas, karong alas 5 and then announce ko pa sir sa adult choir, pa, sir. And then adult choir mag practice ta for kanang last nga practice na to before we sing tonight. Alas 3:45 mag practice ta. Maybe half lang sa oras ta practice and then the rest ana kanang rang relax na before before service siguro kinahanglan pa mo mag mag dress up, kinahanglan pa mo mag magilis balik. Okay ra kayo. So, we'll meet up at 3.45 karong hapon o niya katong mga teenagers sa 2 p.m. sa orchestra na to nga practice sa 2 p.m. Okay? Thank you. Alright, at the end of our cantata, we'll take a group picture as a church together. So, if you nakai red or green bulingon, so loob na lang. Amen? Sa picture, why klaro nga bulingon? Amen? Sa picture lang, why klaro? So, we'll take our, pi- our group picture tonight as a church. Kung nakai red or green, kung wala kay, kung wala kay red or green, pastor, Onsay ang mga secondary colors for Christmas, Mam Lolit. Onsa? White. Oh, here you go, white. Pero I think samot nga sa bulingon. Brown na, brown. Kisa imong white kay brown na. Okay? So, another color, another color. Another color. Black na lang, black. Black. Gold. Yan yan, gold clothes. Okay? No one is gold clothes. Gold color clothes. That'd be cool, huh? Gold color clothes. Anyways. We'll do that tonight and have a good time together, 5 p.m. And uh, we'll have some Christmas songs. That was supposed to be last week. But last week, na something happened last week. Anak limut ko. What happened? Something like typhoon or something like that, diba? But praise the Lord. Amen. It's good to see everybody still smiling. Amen. We need to pray for some people here. Uh, Mark, how are you feeling? Okay lang? Good? Uh, we heard you're sick, so we prayed for you. Um, you want to give update how you're feeling so we can know what to pray for? Okay lang? Just okay or not? Pray lang. Okay lang. Good. Also, Mom, Naomi, okay na? Kaya lang? Amen? Pray? Lay hands? Sa pa? Too big? Okay lang. Let's pray for Mom Naomi. Uh, she'll just feel better. And then also, uh, let me see, uh, Mom Jane Manning? Uh, diba? Imong Papa? And then, uh, for those of you who are below, okay, I think, si Bird Nathan? And then ikaw, igsoon. Sakto na? Okay? So, uh, let's pray your papa. Na, na kay update, Ma'am Jane? Na update? Uh, as Bernathan, you like to give update para, kuan, para mag-pray mi maayo? Ah, uh, intubate. Uh, intubate. Okay, sige, sige. Let's pray lang. Unsay nga lang sa mong papa? Boy? Boy Lariano? Loriano. Sige. Pastor Peter, would you come here and then uh, pray for uh, Kuya Boy Loriano? Sakto na? 